auditioning for Senior Way to Stardom. We'd have been here first if we didn't have to wait for you. That's because someone's cat shredded all my clothes. Don't care. <laughs> you stay here, Mr. Cat. I can't wait any longer. Whoa. <laughs> Cut me in line, Hardy, and I'll do your homework for two weeks. Three weeks. One week. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> Wish me luck. Good luck. Oh, cool. Television. Ooh, am I on TV? Hi. I mean, I'm going to be on Senior Way to Stardom. Oh. <laughs> Come back. I'm kicking the can again. Sheesh, <laughs> <laughs> she must have brought her brick collection. <laughs> Okay, Millie, let's go home. Okay. Guess what, Goopy? Ah, baby! When I sing on the show tomorrow, I am gonna dedicate my song to my very own lucky charm. You! Isn't that wonderful? Mwah. Ooh, this is news. Coop likes Phoebe. Oh, no. When the show is broadcast, everyone will think I like Phoebe. Coop, you need to relax. How can I? Phoebe's gonna dedicate a song to me in front of the whole world. Cope and Phoebe sitting in a tree. Kiss them! <laughs> I'll never be able to show my face in public again. <laughs> ah, Phoebe, stop that! Hi, Coop. You gonna watch me tonight? I'd like to, but I'm moving to Antarctica. Yeah, no TV there. Hmm, you must be nervous. I mean, what happens if you hit a sour note or something? What can go wrong when I have my own lucky charm? My life is over! What's going on with the reception? At this rate, we're gonna miss the show. Hey, Dad. Uh, TV broken? <laughs> <laughs> no problemo, kids. I think I saw some spare parts in the basement. <laughs> hmm. Oh, this stuff looks useful. Face it, Coop. Everyone's gonna see Phoebe dedicate that song to you no matter what. Boy, I found stuff I didn't even know I had down there. Now, where do you suppose this goes? <laughs> Oop, not there. <laughs> not there either. Come on, Coop. You can lose yourself in our new 500 channel high def flat screen TV. Whoa. Dad got this universal remote. Huh? It can hack into any electrical device, override the operating code, and take it over. Wow. Coming up, the pre-show pre-show oh, for Senior Way. Channel. Coming up, the pre-show pre-show for Senior Sorry again. Way to start. Not again. It's on every channel. There's no escape. Forget the TV. Let's go play with my remote-controlled cars. <laughs> When this show airs, everyone in town, no, everyone in the world is gonna think I like Phoebe. Ugh. Not if we stop it at the source. Dennis, that's brilliant! Let's go to the satellite truck. Oh, ow, ow, ow. I for the high ground! Why are my toys going haywire? <laughs> Possessed! Quick! 
Resist watching people sing in the comfort of their own home from the comfort of your own home. It's Sing Your Way to Stardom. Our first is Andre in Paris. Do we me. <laughs> Ooh, another dream spins down the drain. We'll be right. That does it. If we're gonna watch Phoebe on Sing Your Way to Stardom, then we have to think big. Come on, sweetie. Hurry, Dennis! Come back for more! Let's see, how many is it Dad's shirt size? No, Mom's birthday? What about... You I am so grounded. It's time to clean house. Ole! All distracted, you take out the batteries. to meet our final contestant. Hey! Oh. Oh. Huh? Am I dreaming? Oh, somebody pinched me. Oh! I said pinch me! My bad. There! Oh, look out! One last dish to go. I hope you're not going to do what I think you're going to do. All of Bootsville has Phoebe Fever for our final competitor, Phoebe! I would like to sing a tribute to an extra special someone. <clears throat> no! One lucky... We'll be right back. That hubcap satellite dish I rigged up sure did the trick. Yeah! <laughs> and the winner is... The Kid in the Shower! Way to go! Yeah, French guy!
Dennis, your paper on the quantum mechanics of Captain Blasteroid's fasteroid drive was terrific. Although, comic books are not considered a credible scientific source. I'll remember that for next time, Mr. Gerber. Good. And then there's Coop's project. It's difficult to read your work when you keep putting it through a paper shredder before handing it in. It's not me, Mr. Gerber. It's my sister's evil cat. Right. Everyone knows how good cats are with office equipment. <laughs> <laughs> Allow me to illustrate. These are your marks when you're focused. They go up, up, up. Coop, you need to do extra work to get your grade back up. And I've got just the thing. The Bootsville Observatory's Model Rocket Club. Whoosh! 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 <laughs> uh, <laughs> thanks. I guess. That's the spirit. Your friend Dennis signed up on his own. Your grades could do with some focus too, Lauren. A chance to play with rockets? Count me in! What would my marks be like if I don't join? <laughs> uh, in that case, I'm ready for a liftoff. Bill, Bill, huh? A package for cats. <laughs> Bill, Bill. Slot 12. What's a flange? I think it's the pointy end. Oh. Hmm. Yours looks better. Rockets! I built one of these when I was a boy, and it looked just like yours, Coop. So that's where my rocket building talent comes from. Daddy! I can't find my glasses! Yo, honey, why don't you watch... <laughs> uh, listen to TV while I look for them, hmm? Okay, Daddy. Time to put these rockets to the test. Bye, Mr. B. See you, Dad. Remember, boys, it's not how they look, it's how they fly. Huh? I can't find the TV. Or the door. Or the house. Welcome to the Bootsville Observatory. I'm Professor Gazier. This is the long-range telescope I use for tracking anything in my region of the firmament. In fact, I was just about to observe satellite 686 currently in orbit over Bootsville. The observatory also has a separate control station that monitors and adjusts satellite orbits. Yes, Lauren? When do we get to fire rockets? Yeah. That's the only reason I'm here. You're not even in our class, Harley. Dude, if something is exploding, I'm there. Okay then, let's get right to it, shall we? This way, boy. <laughs> okay, Rocketeers, prepare to launch! Ooh, ooh, odds first, five, four, three, two, one, blast off! <laughs> Grazer went for miles. Too bad we only count the distance traveled up. I'm next. Whoa, look at it go. Yeah, all right. Good one, Dennis. <laughs> Commendable first attempt, Dennis. Cooper? Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it must have had tremendous acceleration to climb out of sight so... Oh. 
No worries. Remember, boys, the first launch is the hardest. Don't worry, Coop. You'll do better next time. I sure couldn't do any worse. <laughs> hey, Coop. How was your first rocket launch? A total bust, just like my grades. Well, don't give up, Coop. I've got just what you need. Uh, Millie, don't you think you're sitting a little close? Quiet, Coop. I'm watching a show about ponies. Right. Well, looks like a good one. Here you go, Coop. I knew these books would come in handy someday. Fuel combustion, engine design, aerodynamics. Of course, some of these books are... Pretty advanced. Thanks, Dad. I need all the help I can get. <laughs> Don't stay up too late, sport. I won't. Okay, linear interpolation between time thrust data points in a motor-specific profile. <sighs> time to go to bed, Mr. Cat. <laughs> Mr. Cat, you're so soft, I could cuddle you all night. Morning, Millie. Whoa, I think that's enough milk, sweetie. Hope you're ready, Coop, because the family's coming to watch you set your next rocket record. Did the books help? They sure did. Help me get to sleep. Great, then let's blast off. Oh, boy. Let's go, Millie. I just have to finish my... Hey, someone ate all my cereal. <laughs> oh. ah! I'm just going to grab a piece of fruit instead. Oh, Mr. Cat, what are you doing in there? Ooh, your skin feels extra smooth today. Okay, Rocketeers. For your final launch, Mr. Gerber will be joining us to give you your final grades. That's right, class. Professor Gazier tells me you built some out-of-this-world rockets, and I'm ready to be impressed. <laughs> okay, everyone. Who's first? We'll go, Professor Gazier. <laughs> Of the earth. <laughs> I wonder if it'll come out the other end and shoot into the sky in China. Probably not. Your rocket building skills are extraordinary, boys. Your sense of direction, not so much. Okay, Dennis, you're next. Very impressive, Dennis. Looks like you're the new star of the Rocket Club. <laughs> Okay, Coop, that leaves you. Five, four, three, two, one! Blast off. <laughs> Good heavens, Cooper. You just broke the club record for highest altitude. Way to go, son. Wow, Coop, you've really improved. It's the same rocket. I didn't change anything. I don't understand how... Oh, no. Look! Ha! I'm no rocket scientist, but I know that cat plus rocket equals bad. <laughs> I should have known you were behind this. Whatever it is you're up to ends here and now. Ah! You're trying to blow up that satellite. <laughs> Oh. I 
don't understand how a model rocket could do so much damage. Beats me, too. And I was supposed to retrieve the satellite 6AB6 from its orbit over Bootsville. We'll need to rebuild the guidance computers. I guess that satellite will have to stay up there for a few more years. <laughs> yeah, don't say. <laughs> When are you going to launch your rocket? See if you can bend one past your own. Oh! <laughs> uh, kiss another one goodbye. That's a first? Old Lady Munson never gives us our balls back. Ah! Careful, Coop. Don't look directly at it or you'll turn to stone. I don't know, Dad. He doesn't look evil enough to be Old Lady Munson. Thanks. You don't look so evil yourself. Whoa. I'm Fiona. You must be Coop. The rotten kid who lives next door who still wets his pants? Yeah, I am. I mean, no, I'm not rotten. Uh, I don't... Fiona! Get away from there! No great, 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 great grandniece of mine is gonna fraternize with a Burton burger! He's a gnome breaking, but... yard wrecking, I never... fence smashing, it wasn't... tag blasting, I'm not... bus destroying, uh... juvenile delinquent! Uh... And he can't even finish a simple sentence! <sighs> Keep away from my property! <laughs> Hurry, Fiona. We gotta get these heads glued back on before the magic leaks out. Of all the great, 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 great aunts in all the backyards in all the world, why her? <sighs> you know, Coop, my first crush was on a great, 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 great grandniece of old Lady Munson's. Until old Lady Munson crushed me. <laughs> Literally. <sighs> my advice is never let her smell your fear. Hmm. I better borrow your cologne. Maybe I owe it to the ladies to get back in the old dating game myself. I could ask her if she wants to hang out at the mall. But after what her great, 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 mean, nasty old aunt said about me, Fiona probably won't even talk to me. Uh, it's all about perfecting your moves, pushing the right buttons, and resisting the temptation to cheat. How do you know so much about girls? What girls? I'm talking about Cosmic Comet Carnage. Uh. Let's see. Swap shop owning single dad who's into small appliance repair seeks companion who enjoys same. Huh, doesn't sound very macho. Ah. Also likes watching Roman gladiator movies. Huh, there. I can't wait to meet the lucky lady who answers that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her shred. Awesome oh, moves. Even if she wasn't a girl. Skateboard! I'm late for bingo! Uh, boy, Fiona! Fiona's here? <laughs> hey, Coop! Don't be a ball hog! I'm in the clear! I'm glad Auntie Munson gave you your ball back. My ball? I thought it was yours! <laughs> Fiona! No! <gasps> Must have been overinflated. <laughs> Fiona, get away from him before he explodes again. <laughs> Swap shop single dad small appliances? Ooh, that's no way to find true love. There, now 
Cow Daddy is a handsome entrepreneur who likes precious antiques and romance movies. Not Roman movies, silly. <laughs> Daddy and a lady sit on a tree. Uh, hello, handsome. <laughs> it sounds like we have a lot in common, and I would love to meet you in person. Yeah! Hey, Cow, you want to come over and help me hide garden gnomes? I'm gonna tell Auntie Munson they were abducted by aliens. <laughs> oh, I can't. If the dragon, I mean, your aunt catches me in her yard, she'll freak. Oh, well, I'm sure we can think of something else fun to do. We can? I mean, sure we can. <laughs> Maybe we could... If I catch you with this miscreant one more time, you'll spend the rest of your visit in your room under maximum security locked down. But, Auntie Munson... No buts. It's for your own good. And you fix my shed! <laughs> <clears throat> my, you look lovely in the moonlight. That's good, Daddy. Now let's try it again with that other sweater. <laughs> I can't win, Dennis. It's cool that Fiona won't listen to old lady Munson, but if she doesn't stay away from me, she's gonna get hurt in the Coop Cat crossfire. Well, you could avoid Fiona like the plague, but then she'll think I don't like her. Uh, I have to keep Fiona safe from Cat, even if it means I never get to see her again. Okay, Coop, this is the hardest, riskiest, most terrifying thing you've ever done. Fiona's life depends on what you do next. Fiona, this is for your own good. Fiona! You're in lockdown until you can behave like a real munchkin. <sighs> it had to be done. <laughs> Whoa! When did Dad get this? Cat! Surprising what a girl with a nail file and a little determination can do. There's something I have to tell you that will blow your mind. Your aunt is a blood-sucking vampire? No! I, she's a soul-destroying demon from the seventh hub. Coop, I think your freaky cat might be an evil alien who's trying to destroy you! <gasps> you think I'm some kind of wacko, don't you? Try the exact opposite. Let me try and get you out of here. Like I'm going anywhere. Is. Fun loving lady? Handsome entrepreneur. Old Lady Munson! <laughs> Don't fight the current! Just go with the flow! Don't get fresh with me, Burger! in a knot. Now let's put a twist in his ray gun. Did you 
find true love, Daddy? I'll take that as an L. <laughs> Mr. Cat, what a nasty-looking sunburn. Let's play that, and Dr. Millie will make you all better. <laughs> Fiona, about that kiss thing, I hope you're not mad at me. <laughs> Try the exact opposite. Don't even think about it! <laughs> I'm sorry, dear, but I'm cutting your visit short for your own good. These Burton burgers have no idea how to treat a lady. Bye, great, 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 great Auntie Munson. I'll visit you again soon. Bye, Fiona. Get over her, Burton Burger, for your own good. <sighs> and fix my house! <sighs> Coop, when it comes to girls, take my advice. What's that, Dad? Never, ever listen to a word I say. Deal. Tonight's real monster truck rally is sold out. Yeah, but this is fun too. Ha! Smash! Well, not for you, maybe, but I'm having a blast. <laughs> oh, yeah? You're headed for the junkyard once I. Cat! That's mine, fish breath. <laughs> Huh? It works! Just like it says in Kitty Lovers magazine. Oochie, oochie, hmm. Tickle spot, huh? even closer than that. Actually, nobody says that. Are you sure this is worth it? Your choice, Dennis. Happy Unicorn Rainbow Adventure or a trip through the cat blender. <laughs> Your happy unicorn has landed in a pudding bath. Miss a turn. Huh? <laughs> Millie, cat wants a tickle. <laughs> tickle time! Why are you two always fighting? How many times do I have to... Uh... What did you say? It's fun spending time with Coop. He isn't stinky, smelly, and annoying at all. I decided I should try harder to be a positive influence on my dear, sweet little sister. <sighs> I never thought I'd see this day. My boy is growing up. Uh, Dad? Dennis is watching? Oh, right, right. Well then, have fun at the playground. I'm so proud! <laughs> Miss 
We're going to the playground, and I'm going to tickle you all the way. No, no, no! <laughs> that's Millie, and that's Coop, my oldest. <sighs> Seems like only yesterday he was toddling around in a loaded diaper, and now he's out bonding with his little sister. Before you know it, he'll be growing armpit hair and popping zits. Lots of them, if he's anything like his old man. Say, your son wouldn't happen to be a monster truck fan. He sure is. <laughs> Are those two tickets to tonight's sold-out monster truck rally? Will you swap for him? Oh, I'm sure we can work something out. But I gotta warn you, I drive a hard bargain. Nice doing business with ya! <laughs> Poor guy never stood a chance. Ha! Mwah! Can't we go to the skate park? No. I love to swing and swing and go up and up What's that weird noise? Your sister. No. The other weird noise. Ah! Glasses. I don't know. Coop went to find them. Aw, he's gonna miss the monster truck rally. I got these tickets and... <gasps> I love monster trucks! Can I go? Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I? Okay, no sense letting them go to waste. But we gotta move, it's already started. Ooh, thank you, Daddy. Oh man, where's the key for this thing? See this? He'd love it! Did you see that, Millie? Uh, Millie? 
You. Coop, what are you doing here? And Dennis? Uh, trying to score some tickets? Uh, too bad, sport. You just missed the smash tastic finale! Our car! <sighs> Guess we're walking home. Millie, why are you even here? You don't like monster trucks. You don't know me at all. I know you're annoying. I know you have a one of mine. <sighs> well, it was nice while it lasted. Let's drop by the bookstore. I want to see what's new in the parenting aisle. <sighs> I can't wait to get out of these heels into a warm bath with some scented candles and... Yeah, remind me to pick up a book for your parents too, Dennis. <laughs> Steady now, Millie. Easy does it. I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it! Way to go, Sweet Pea. This reminds me of when my dad helped me build my first house of cards. Just like his dad helped him and his mom and her dad. That one came with the wallet. Oh boy, what's your brother up to now? Oh boy, what's Cat up to now? <laughs> Sorry, Pumpkin. Coop, do you have to make such a racket? Yes! Thank you! a hornet's nest with a stick, <laughs> waving a red flag at a mad bull, and flying a kite in a lightning storm all at the same time? You mean fun? I mean, maybe you're pushing it a little. Ha! It's impossible to humiliate that hairless creep too much! <laughs> with these babies on, we can work in peace and quiet. Now, let me show you an old Burtonberger technique to make a super strong card house. Using basic engineering principles, we... See? Steady as a rock. What? Uh, what? 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 Anybody seen Cat? No. No, 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 no. No ice cream before dinner. Yeah, you'll spoil your appetite. If Coop gets a pony, so do I. Never mind. Oh, Cat! Oh, looks like the purple plague is kicking it up a notch. <laughs> That's it? That little thing is what Cat's been spending all his time working on? Ah! <laughs> 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 
Uh-oh. Looks like Coop just got a face full of booyah! Coop! Coop! <gasps> What's going on? What's with your eyes? And when did you learn a chicken dance? What? You're controlling Coop? Not possible! <gasps> You're so wedgy! That's inhuman! Say hello! Three and a half months of karate lessons! I know! I don't know what you've done to my friend, Cat. But you're not gonna get away with it. You hear me? You are not gonna... Wait, is this a cat? <laughs> Carpet stink. Ah! Oh! Where did she get that? Sweet sweating, bro. Crazy feedback. Ah! Everyone else. Uh... Ugh, saved by waxy buildup. Do you even know what a washcloth looks like? Eh. <sighs> you gotta help me. <laughs> the whole town's out to get me. <laughs> we know. It's awesome. What'd you do to get everybody so ticked off at you? I didn't do anything. They've all been turned into zombies. <laughs> Let's fail before we're zombie food. Then you guys have nothing to worry about. Good thing I always keep a supply of cards on hand, eh, Millie? No, Daddy. I don't think the rain will hurt the rhubarb. We need a plan. Why don't we do what the dudes 
Captain and Twilight of the Zombie Killers. Dude, those dudes ended up totally eaten. Well, yeah. I know, the humanoids in Carnage of the Ungrateful Dead didn't get eaten. Until the sequel. Bushmonger High School. Pummeled by the pep squad, then eaten. Camp Ghoulie Massacre. Dropped down a mine shaft, then eaten. Whoa, Revenge of the Sheepist. Dipped in chocolate, then eaten. <coughs> oh, face it, bro, we're zombie food. Bummer. But we'll get some awesome footage when they come for your brains. That thing fell out of my ear when the horn went off. We need some kind of sonic blast. Huh? Jackpot! Okay, crank it up and get ready to rock! <laughs> One and two and hold it! What's our opening number? Screaming Snake Parade in D minor? Nah, man. Let's do Anarchy Weasel. Yeah! Who cares? Play ball! Three and four and... Over. Wait till Coop sees this. I love dolphins too, Daddy. Uh, victory dance would probably be highly inappropriate right now. Yeah, I'm ready to give the in your face routine a rest. At least until tomorrow. <laughs> from alien cats wait till morning. <laughs> Did he just turn water into milk? This could end world hunger and help all mankind. Nothing that furless mutant does is for the good of mankind. So why does he need all that milk? Like I always say, First, ask questions later. This calls for a classic flanking maneuver. We'll surround him and... Yeah! Or we can try a reckless frontal assault. As usual. for one cat to drink, even an alien cat. You're right. It's enough milk for lots of cats. 
Enough to supply an entire cat invasion force! <laughs> planned it out a little better, Cat wouldn't have gotten away with the bottle. No sweat, Dennis. It's the last one, and I know where he's gonna use it. All I gotta do is stop him before he gets there. <laughs> this could only mean one thing. We're going to visit Weird Aunt Beatrix! No! Sorry, Coop, but getting you to Aunt Bee's is like taking Cat to the vet. It goes smoother if it's a surprise. <laughs> Mr. Cat! Sorry, Millie. Mr. Cat isn't allowed on any more road trips. <laughs> <laughs> it's safer for him and us. Don't worry. Mr. Cat is in good hands. Henry owed me a favor. We're down! Okay, son. Can the melodrama. Don't let it up on my new recliner! <laughs> <laughs> Aunt B sure has a thing for banjos. And furry animals. <laughs> Come on, Dennis, pick up, pick up. No long distance calls, dear. They're listening. <laughs> oh, great, now what? Here's what you do. Please deposit <gasps> another quarter. Uh, uh, get a lawnmower, three cement blocks, some ropes, and then you... <sighs> Great. No quarters, no ride. And now rain? Oh, come on! Nice doggy! Good birdie! Nice doggy! Good birdie! Sorry, Coop. Why do you need Coop? Uh, Coop? Huh. Say, Aunt B, what can I swap you for one of your banjos? No! <laughs> no, it's the other way! <laughs> Milk and vinegar don't mix. Maybe vinegar will curdle Cat's formula. You should have told me you wanted a midnight snack. I would have ordered you a hamburger also. Watch your eyes. I'm giving this burger a kick in the patty with your grandma's homemade hot sauce. I call it volcanic burnout in a bottle. Maybe it'll take a bite out of cat's formula too. <laughs> Even alien chemical engineering is no match for grandma's hot sauce. Oh, oh yeah. 
Good batch. Grandma's hot sauce always brings a tear to my taste, but always brings a nasty afterburner side effect too. Excuse me. Hey, who took my hot sauce? so badly. Aunt B drives a hard bargain. But I finally got her to swap for that banjo. But don't we need a car, Daddy? Well, I... That's why I tricked her into throwing old Josephine here into the bargain. <laughs> now you owe me a favor. Plus, new carpet, hardwood floor, dinette set, and a brand new recliner with all the trimmings. Ooh, did Mr. Cat have a fun visit, too? Ow! Ah! 